Glory to God. I want to to really encourage you today. This is something, this is week two of a study in 2 Corinthians, and I am thrilled about all the people that are, are, are listening to this podcast on a regular basis and what we're, we're the doors that are being opened for us to put this thing in, in all kinds of different state prisons and, and jails across this nation. It thrills me. It thrills me to think that, that years ago, 2018, the Lord told me to do this podcast, and I had no idea what he was going to do with it. But today I look back and see where he has guided us and directed us to to do, do so many things for, for the people of the prisons, the jails, and just people in general that need help, that need to know and understand that God's for them. This, this podcast has ministered to thousands over the years, and we, we intend to minister to millions from now on because this has turned into something that is a, is a ministry that is helping people to come to the realization that God's for them. God's for them. I want to encourage you to download this app, the phone app. Go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com and download the app so you can get this podcast six days a week. We do a in him scripture study through uh, through the Monday through Fridays, and then we do a, a Sunday message that we really film it on on Thursday nights as an outreach to the community. And these videos go into prisons and jails all over the nation. Now, I'm I'm ecstatic for what God the doors that God has opened up for this ministry to do what we're doing. We started in June 21st of 2021 on this In Him Scripture study. We went through this entire bookmark, and I want to encourage you, contact me. I'll send you a bookmark. It won't cost you anything. Just let me know, and I'll mail it to you. It, no, no cost at all. But we went through that bookmark. We, we spent 41 weeks in an In Him Scripture study, and then the Lord impressed me to go on into, uh, into Romans and teach the same theme who we are in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We spent 25 weeks in Romans. We spent 27 weeks in 1 Corinthians. And now we're on week two of a study in 2 Corinthians. So, so this has is, this is just turned into a, a something that shows people and gives them the confidence that they need to stand up and say, God is for me. He's not against me. There are so many years that I spent thinking God was against me, and he wasn't. He, he's a, that loving father that wants more than anything to be part of our lives, and his word spells it out for us. So that's why he has told us to do what we're doing in this ministry. And I want to take this time to thank all the partners. Partners, thank you for all that you do sowing into this ministry helping us do what God has commissioned us to do, and that is to teach His Word all over this planet, free of charge to anybody that listen, to teach the people of this world that God loves them, He cares for them, to teach them who He has made them to be in Jesus Christ, their Lord and Savior. It is my honor and my privilege to be the the person that gets to bring you these messages And I thank God for the opportunity that the partners have given me to help us do this. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. Now, I want to encourage you. Share this podcast on your social media so others can find out what God's Word says about them. Not what religion says, but what thus saith the Word of God. My prayers for today come out of Paul's prayers for the Ephesians. You know, Paul wanted the Ephesians to to come to realize and understand that God loved them and cared for them. And that is my prayer for the world we live in. I want every person that walks this planet to to get hold of just how much God loves them, just how good he really is. There's a lot of people in this world don't see how good God is but I want them to today. That is my prayer. That's the reason I do these prayers. 
Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ. Though it is too great to understand fully, then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able, through his mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God. He opens my eyes to that love more and more every day, and he does it through his word. Oh, I thank God for his word. Let's see what God's word has to say today. Father, I thank you and I praise you, God, for your word. Guide me. Use me for your honor and your glory. Touch my mind and touch my mouth. Help me be the light and the vessel, Lord, that you can shine through, that you can speak through today. And I'll forever give you all the praise and glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray. Amen. We're going to go down one scripture today. We was in 2 Corinthians 1 and 9 yesterday, and we're going to go into verse 10. And the the King James Version says, Who delivered us from so great a death, and hath and doth deliver us in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. I want it like I do this, I read most of the time, not all the time, but a lot of the time. I read the New Living and the Amplify because I want everybody to get a good a good understanding of what these verses are saying. And I think the New Living and the Amplified Classic Version gives us a a good round uh, understanding of what the King James is saying. Listen to what uh, the New Living Translation for 2 Corinthians 1 and 10 says. And he said, and it says, and he did rescue us from mortal danger, and he will rescue us again. We have placed our confidence in him. And he will continue to rescue us. The the, uh, Amplified Classic says, For it is he who rescued and saved us from such a perilous death. And he will still rescue and save us in and on him. We have set our hope, our joy, and confident expectation that we will again deliver. He will again deliver us from danger and destruction, and draw us to himself. Now listen, this is something that that I really have to uh, use a lot here lately. Uh, that, that's just, that's just uh, the point in, in, in my ministry and my life that I'm in. I have to really believe 
in the, the deliverance that he has for us in him, in residing in him, abiding in him. There's deliverance in it from every situation. I see God working in my life on a daily basis on things that that years ago that they wouldn't even been an issue that, that that have come up now that that the Lord has saw us through faithfully faithfully delivered us from from all kinds of different peril you know you know one one thing that we talk about quite a bit on this podcast is is June 23rd of this year marked uh, or I'm sorry not June 21st 3rd but January 23rd of this year marked a a a year from from the day that the devil done his best to kill me and and shut me up from doing what we're doing on this podcast and and we have made it a point to to tell this story a lot to a lot of different people because people don't realize the deliverance that is there for them if they'll just if they'll just for, for one thing believe God and for another speak God's word over situations and and speak it speak it loudly in faith i i say this all the time i found myself at death's door on June 23rd of 2022 and and I could have I've told many people over uh, over the last year and a half that if that hadn't have been for him for God and his word and what his word had instilled in me and that was faith in him I don't believe I would have made it through it I think that the fear of of what I was dealing with would have consumed me a, a decade before that, my, maybe my, probably five years before that. But today I'm, I'm healed and whole, whole, because God's word is true above all opinion. And when the devil attacked, God performed a miracle in my life. And I proclaimed his truth that by the stripes of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, I'm healed today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year, but today. And, and I walked out of that hospital a healed man, a, a man that was speaking when the, the, the very day that I started having these problems, I found myself not being able to speak. My wife said that you... You sound like you've been deaf your entire life. I mean, those the strokes that I had, the the lack of oxygen that had had just attacked me, put me in a bad position. I was in trouble. At, but what brought me through? Him, faith in Him. God Himself performed a miracle in my life. He delivered me from death. I'm telling you, years ago. I wouldn't have, I mean, there there wouldn't even been, I, I wouldn't have had enough of God's word in me years ago to even have thought if something like that would attack me then, I would have, I would have given in to it. I would have, it would have consumed me. And if it didn't kill me, I would have been handicapped for the rest of my days because of the, I mean, Satan done his dead level best to kill me. And I told this story, but back in 2015, I, I, I was invited to go to Argentina to preach a, a minister's conference and didn't know I was the, the main speaker till I got there. And when, we, when I got there, you know, we, we spoke and, and a friend of ours went with us and they allowed him to speak also. And, and we went to... Uh, come back and the, and the pastor of the church that brought me in he said hey listen we'd like to get you back I said well just let me know and the Lord impressed me in 2015 now this is how God works the Lord impressed me in 2015 he said you need to study healing and I thought it was for me to go back to to Argentina and 
and minister healing and, and teach on healing and, and teach what, what the Word of God said about healing. So I lead into to, to getting all the resources I could on healing, and I listened to a lot of good teaching and studied healing and, and, and meditated on, on God's Word and, and just, you know, got it, uh, got become convinced in my heart that God's Word was, tr- was true on the situation. Well, uh, pol- for political reasons, I didn't get to go back to Argentina that time. Have, haven't been back since. Still talk to the pastor, and, and, and you know, we're, we're friends, but there, there was some politics in Argentina that, that just couldn't be, over, be overcome for me to get back at that time, so I've never been back. But I think... I missed why that, why those, why all that study of healing was uh, imparted into my life to begin with. Because in 2022, God, uh, God saw all that, all that stuff that I needed was used in 2022. Seven years later, I, I come to the point of just, I mean, it was in me, and I knew. What, what to do about it. Proclaim the truth over the situation I was in. And, and glory to God, I'm telling you, it, it just, it set me free. It set me free from, from all the, the junk that, that had just plagued me. And uh, I'm telling you, it, it changed my life. I, it gave me a, a it gave me a, a direction. When, after I come through that, I told everybody I, that would listen that you know I'm going to drive this testimony of what God has done in my life down the devil's throat every time He opens His mouth from now on, because I know what God has done, and I know that there's people out here that need to hear what He has taught me, not only about healing, but but my my lot in life, my assignment in in life, is to teach people who Jesus Christ made them to be through their faith in Him in salvation, by abiding and walking and 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 living in Christ Jesus is the most important thing you will ever do after you're born again, and living in that truth, and you'll find the, the deliverance that we've been talking about in Him, in Christ Jesus, in His Word. And when you come to know who you are, there ain't nothing in this world that you can't overcome or accomplish in Him, walking in Him, and knowing, knowing without a shadow of a doubt that He's for you, not against you, knowing where you stand with God, and that is that you stand in your Lord and Savior, Jesus, Jesus Christ, enveloped, in his love, his mercy, his grace, and his goodness, in his sacrifice before God. That's how we can come boldly to God's throne, is to come boldly in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, my question today is, are you born again? Are you in Christ Jesus? You know, we talk about living in him and abiding in him, but I'm asking you, have you given him your heart and in your life? Have you invited him into your heart to be for, for him to be Lord of your life? Romans 10 and 9 says, If you'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, it says he, you shall be saved. Don't say you might be if you're good enough. Don't say you might be if, you're, if you've crossed all your T's and dotted all your I's just right. No, it says you shall be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes to be saved. Won't you be born again today? Won't you allow Jesus Christ to come into your heart, into your life, and save you? So he wants to. I promise you he wants to. He will today if you'll allow him. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today and watch him change your life forever. Glory to God. Hey, listen, go to our website and download this phone app. Get this podcast six days a week automatically downloaded to your phone six days a week so you can grow strong in Him. 
Not in me and my stammering ways. No, in Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior. And, and go through this in him scripture study with us. Go through this study in Romans and 1 Corinthians, and now we're in 2 Corinthians. Oh, I thank God for the truths that we have, we have found out over the years on this podcast. Oh, I thank God for his word. Go back to June 21st, 2021, and come through this entire study with us and find out who God says you are, who you are in Christ Jesus, your Lord and Savior. Glory to God. Now listen, if you're a partner of this ministry, partners, thank you for all that you do sowing into this ministry. You know, I, I thank God for faithful partners that sow into this ministry on a, on a monthly basis sometimes on a weekly basis, that just they, they so faithfully into this ministry because they know what we're doing. We're reaching people. We're helping people. We're lifting people up through the truth in God's Word. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over our partners today. A hundredfold return over everything that you sow into this ministry. Thank you, partners. If you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do to sow into his kingdom through this ministry today. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com. 